financial cushion monthly. This is purely on health protection based on our obvious environmental hazards. Systemic change will be processed through an analysis support system that reaches out to the residents directly. Honestly, I am not interested in ambiguous projects that do not impact on the people directly. Deliberative assembly called the People's Parliament. Together, we will handle issues of consent that come from the people. I will be the bridge from the people to the state and national assembly. This speaks of an all-inclusive government. And finally, visibility and accessibility. This is a promise to creating a function of being able to be assessed directly. This is the most important part of governance. I know that some people, when they get into office, they change their numbers, throw away their old scenes, and you are never able to reach them. That will not be my case. This is on tape, and you can play it anyway. When I get into office by God's grace, you will still be able to reach me on my number. I thought that would land in your heart. Yes. Yes. All right, thank you. Because that is the most important part of governance. While we tend to follow the process of protocols and security, I do not intend to be inaccessible by my constituency. Our plans, our ideas, projects, processes, and resolutions will be visible and accessible to everyone. We intend to use the social media platforms, project graphs, boards, that can be read by all. We will resist secrecy and clicks that create bottlenecks in administration. Welcome to the new morning kingdom. Thank you very much. This is my manifesto. And I believe that as my team, it's important for you to understand what I stand for and what I'm coming to do with you and for everyone on this island. It's important to note that I had some one-on-one -on -one interaction with some of the world chairmen. 
and I was trying to find out in your world what is the peculiarity? What do they need? What's the problem of the people? And I got different answers from different people. And that, I believe, is what a constituency project should be. Not building one ambiguous thing there that doesn't impact on anybody, but moving from what to what, person to person, house to house, compound to compound, and listening to the people and doing the things that will move them forward. Having said that, tonight I'm going to be calling out some certain persons who I didn't fit to pilot the affairs of my campaign team moving forward. And first on my agenda, you already know him, Furo Cunningham Sobiala Green. Please celebrate him as the DG of this wonderful campaign team. Thank you very much. Please wear this. Thank you. My DDG, Mrs. Favor Chica Wako, Miss Elevator. My public relations officer one, Abie Jojo, Abie Bali, sorry, Abie Bali, no, the celebrator. All right, my public relations two, and Mega Gregory Ali, please put your hands together for me. Some persons are not here, so I'm just going to skip. All right, I have, as my head of logistics, I have Oka Chuku in here and at Choco. Please put your hands together for me. Help me. It will interest you to know that we have a legal counsel who is not here presently. He will be unveiled as we move on. Our campaign elder Itawari Fab Brown is not here also. We have our prayer coordinator, Elfrida Pauling, the celebrator. We also have Logistics to Moses Oko Aya is celebrating. Thank you. I have here representing Point. Point is a support group on this island. Nancy Danjongo, is she here? Help me. Papa, Mama, Please come forward. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. For women force, I have two coordinators. Pat Pepple, is she here? It's Pat Pepper here, she's not here yet. I also have in that office, I have Victoria Titi. Obakolo, is she here? Not yet. All right. Um, representing POSN, I have Faith Wilcox. Is she here? No. Jeremiah Hart, is Jeremiah here? No. POPSG, Michael Osisioma. Is he here? Is Michael. Thank you. And of course, I have other members of this team. I have um, Nengi Hart. Thank you. Please step forward. Papa, Mama, and Piki. Nengi is our welfare coordinator, the celebrator. A 
I also have Mr. Nengi, who happens to be the World Tech Chairman in this team. Please celebrate him as he comes forward. Thank you. To what I'm not hard, is she here? Don't worry, Alison, is she here? She's not here. Of course, Mimi Abusi. <laughs> celebrate her, please. Organizing secretary all the way. Thank you. Mr. Daniel, is he here? And we have handling our huge force, Dwokuluma. Dwokuluma, please step forward. Dwokuluma, thank you very much. Bye bye, again. All right, I think I've exhausted that list. I, did I call your name, please? What's your name? Martha. Martha is here. Uh, Martha, you are Ward 11, Chairperson. That's Martha, Ward 11. Martha Wilcox. Please celebrate her. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. All right. Also, I have. Um, it's Messi here. Yeah. It's Messi. Messi A. Brown. Messi A. Brown is also one of our secretaries. Please celebrate her. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Hey, how could I have? You? Help me. I'll call my and begin. It's a simple assignment, but as simple as it is, it demands a lot of commitment. It demands a lot of passion, it demands hard work, sacrifice. And I believe that moving forward from here, this team. Of course, I, I'd like to mention that this campaign team is for the House of Assembly candidates. And by extension, we are not going to work alone. We are going to work with the Labour Party structure, the ESCO of the Labour Party. We are also going to work with all the ward chairmen because by proxy, anytime you are visiting their ward, they have to be part of the delegation. Because they are the ones that will lead us to the places and show us the things that we need to do. So I want to thank God Almighty because I know that this day is producing a team and a force of people that will go out there and change the narrative. I trust that by God's grace, He will give us the capacity he will give us the strength, the tenacity to do the things that are unimaginable. I borrow from the Bible when Gideon was going to war. He had so many that the Lord said, put him down. And he went with only 300. And of course, you know what happened. He won. So I see mighty men and women. I see mighty men and women that are ready to go out there and take it. I'm convinced that you are the best team ever. Yes. I'm so convinced that you have all that it takes to go out there and change the story. So, as you lift your right hand to God today, I'd like you to say with me, Help me, Lord, in discharging my duties. According to your purpose for this island, to strengthen the Labour Party and every word that is needed to work together in unity with the purpose of changing the narrative. And that come 2023, and on 2023, we will have that seat. 
We have the seat. At the River State House of Assembly. At the River State House of Assembly. And we will all be beneficiaries to this. And we will all be beneficiaries to this. So help us God. So help us God. Labor Party! Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to take my seat now and um, I'd like to take responses from. I'll just pass the mic. Just a word from every one of you. Just one word. Good evening, everybody. My name is Reverend Brian Benetani. I'm glad, I'm proud to be a member of this team. So, everybody. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Maniko Abiti. Sister, I want to thank you for putting me here today. God bless you. Lebo Pati. Oh, whatever. My name is Daniel Lukachoko. And I jump up. Uh, I'm glad to be in this team. And I'm the urge of my colleagues to put in their best to make sure that the job given to us we are able to actualize it. It requires the work. It requires my kitchen. It requires that requirements. And it requires that my children sit. We will be seen and be heard. So that our collective task can be achieved. Labor Party. Forever. Labor Party. Forever. I'm glad to be in this. Thank God for bringing her in. And that God has brought her, we see her to be Jesus. Amen. Victory is our word to work. Because she has the capacity and we also have the capacity. Yes. So victory continues to remain for us. Yes, sir. Labor Party. Oh, Alright, yeah. so I'd like you to introduce yourself to our viewers, please. Alright, my name is Reverend Ambassador Tammy Clarissa Amosi. Alright, and you are running for the State of Assembly, right? Yes, please. On the constituency. Alright, the party. Labor Party. All right, all right, Labor Party. Okay, so what to know? Why do you really want to run for the commission of the state half percent? Uh, well, first of all, there's been a lot of decadence in the government in Bonilla and You know, I I watch what's happened over the years between 23 years of legislation on this island, and not much. I can't really say this is what has happened, and I believe that um, there's a lot that can be done. And with the influence and my background, I believe that I can do so much for this island. So that's why I'm stepping out to be the voice for the people. All right, don't forget, we already have the big wigs, the political parties who seem to have all the structure. And then there are the insinuations that the Labour Party does not have every structure that, that is required to win elections. What strategy do you have well, on that? Talking about strategies, talking about structures, it used to be four people uh, somewhere on Facebook, tweeting, and all of that. And then four people became a lot of people out there. You know the structure already. The people are the structure. We are the structure. With the new implementation of the beavers, I believe that the people have a say, and the people are the structure. Those people will definitely make the change. Talking about the big leagues, all they do is spend our money. The money they stole from us is what they throw at us. And we're wiser now, and we know better now. So we're stepping out to do the things that we know to do good, and that is to change the narrative and to change governments. We no longer want people who will loot our money. We no longer want people who will sit there and they don't have compassion or empathy for what people are going through. No, 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 it's not going to happen again. Not on Bonny Island. All right, so let's look, let's look away from this issue of your party, right? Okay. Let's look towards the area of um, what you do for the Bonny people. Let's look at what, you, what, what exactly do you want to do for Bonny people. Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting one. I'm going to be unveiling my manifesto and um, top on my agenda is um, collaborations, developmental collaborations. Of course, I'm not the executive. I'm, I'm a legislator. 
And the job of a legislator is to make impact, influence, attract laws that will benefit the people directly. Now, these collaborations, I'm going to be looking at working with those in diaspora, I'm going to be looking at working with um, those um, the, the rulers, traditional rulers, title citizens, the youth, non indigenous Everybody will have a say. So I'm looking at the People's Parliament. Never been done before. We're going to have the People's Parliament where we can sit down and look at the issues that ail us. And of course, I'm also going to be touching the people from ward to ward. Because the challenge they have in ward 2 is not what they have in ward 5. It's not what they have in ward 7. So we're going to go door to door and find out what are the problems that they have. And definitely, we're going to make that impact. I will sponsor what I call the hazard allowance, which is something that I believe that money can do. I think you want to use your salary to do that? Not my salary, okay. of course. Of course, why not if I have to use my salary? But I'm going to ensure that that law, that law comes to play here. Because we are so exposed, exposed to a lot of hazards. Why not? If you live on this island, you inhale all kinds of things that should not be. So I definitely want to ensure that the people here are safe, health-wise. That's the first thing to do. So we're going to be doing that. All right, so let me look a little around the issues uh, of crisis within the workers and multinationals. Do you have any plans for them? Well, the crisis, why is there a crisis? First of all, we have to get to the root of it. The reason is because we are marginalized. Who would not be angry for crying out loud? We lay the golden egg. So why should we not benefit from it? You send your child to university for four years, your child comes out, and the best they can give to your child is a shutdown, whatever they call it. I mean, it's unthinkable, so there's no reason, there is absolutely no reason why they shouldn't agitate. So I'm going to look at it critically, and of course, we're going to talk. We're not going to quarrel, but we're going to ensure that our people have what they deserve. Wow, thank you so much for joining us, man. Thank you so much. This is Think Tank TV. Do well to subscribe and follow us on all our platforms. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, bye.